Morning, Bob. How are you? You nice? I feel good, yeah. Man, I had a dad moment yesterday. You ever have one of those moments as a dad where you're just like, when did I become this person? When did I start doing dad things? <laughs> because I had one yesterday, What'd man. You do? Me and my daughter Addison are out for a walk around the neighborhood. And uh, somebody is getting, you know, trees cut down or something. And there is a wood chipper parked in front of someone's house. Again, I don't know who these people are or anything like that. But I can see people bringing giant tree limbs from the backyard. So we're just walking past, no big deal. But I see this guy coming from the backyard, you know, worker for whatever uh, tree service this was. And he's got the hard hat on and everything and reflective vest. And he's bringing out this big tree log. And I stop in my tracks. And I'm like, Addison, wait, wa watch this. Watch this. And I, like, she had no interest. She didn't care. And I'm like, have you ever seen a wood chipper? And she's like, like, work? Like, somebody put something in it? No, but I know what a wood chipper is. I'm like, wa watch this. He's And I am right in front of this guy saying it. And, you know, the wood chipper's on, so he can't hear me. But I'm like, watch this, watch this. And he puts the, you know, big tree log in the wood chipper. And I raise both of my hands in the air like like, like I'm a, a young kid seeing, like, a fire truck turn on its lights or something. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I was cheering for the guy in my, like, I, I felt like this was playing in the background. Just, like, the Home Depot music. <laughs> Like, I was just like, yeah, oh, man, look at that tree go. Oh, man, he's really cutting the hell out of that. Yeah, wood chipper. So I have my arms, like, raised in the air. And then she's just like, what are you doing? And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I just got really excited for the wood chipper. And then we continued our uh, walk. But it was just like a super dad moment where I'm like, when did I become this person? Like, you wanted to give the guy a high five after he said it through the I chipper? wanted him to look at me and be like, Hey, this guy looks like he likes the wood chipper. Let's let him throw a log in. That's what, like, in, that's why I did it. He waved you and give you a point. Come I felt over, like bud. I'm cheering and raising my hands, like, oh, wood chipper, yeah. It's I like, felt uh, like he was going to be like, here, you do one, you do one now. One of those touch a truck events with kids. It's yes. Like, you want to see the inside? Come on over, yes. bud. Come you, on over. Well, we'll put the fire helmet on you. I felt like that with the with the wood chipper in my neighborhood yesterday. All right. It's uh, Steelers at Browns tonight, Thursday night football. We will get you ready with a very inspirational message from crazy Italian guy this morning around 7.10. We got Post Malone tickets around 9 a.m. too. It's Mikey and Bob. 96.1. Kiss. Mikey and Bob, it's the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Bob, I'm going to need this from you again this morning. Can you give us a fall warning? Not a fog warning, a fall warning <laughs> from Bob. That would make my morning. All right, so usually when it's a foggy morning, Bob will aggressively yell fog to warn everyone everybody mm -hmm. but it is the first official day of fall today bob in your office lady mm -hmm. just pumpkin spice mm -hmm. voice mm -hmm. can you just warn everybody mm -hmm. that today is the day it's the first day of fall fall all right let's get to this message hi mikey and bob um it's your girl <laughs> Eaton Park window liquor, uh, a.k.a. Sarah. All right, she told us a story before how she licked, <laughs> she licked a window at an e Eaton Park <laughs> restaurant, and now she's just known as the Eaton Park window liquor who randomly sends us messages every now and then, so let's hear it. <laughs> I was just wondering if you guys have ever ranked your top five favorite pumpkin slash oh, yeah. fall oh. um, food slash drink. Oh. Um, if you guys do it, can you do it in your office lady voices? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love you guys. I mean, listen, we can only do five. How the hell are we going to do oh, this list? Give me the gosh. top. I got to pick a top five favorite fall food and drinks. This is like, I have at least 30. I could do I could do 30 just pumpkin. Just pumpkin. That's not even bringing in anything else in like cider. Oh my god. No, oh my goodness. Pop. Cider. Oh. Cider season. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> cider season is here. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Hello, fall. Put the hoodies on. It's here. All right, uh, Bob, start thinking of your list. <laughs> Top five fall food or drinks power rankings. We will do that coming up around 7.55 here on the Kiss Morning Freak Show. It's Mikey and Bob. 
Vegas is where it's going down starting tomorrow night. It is our big iHeartRadio Music Festival with Megan Thee Stallion, Morgan Wallen, Diddy, Halsey, Luke Combs, Sam Smith, Pitbull, Marin Morris, and a lot more. Uh, it is tomorrow night and Saturday night out in Vegas. You can watch it for free on the CW app or CWTV.com or listen to it right here on 961 Kiss. Me and Bob will also be doing a special Friday sort of pre-show mm-hmm. uh, from 8 to 10 tomorrow for our iHeartRadio Music Festival. Now, we got asked a question on the show yesterday, Bob, about pigs in a blanket. What are pigs in a blanket? Like the rest of the world, uh, they are little hot dogs wrapped in crescent rolls. In Pittsburgh, it's meat inside of cabbage yeah Uh, can you find out for me all right so pigs in a blanket to me and bob have always been like a hot dog or sausage or something wrapped in a crescent roll or some sort of dough and then you make it right that's pigs in a blanket to me but what we learned yesterday is some people uh, you know and i think a lot of this depends on background and nationality and your grandparents where they came to pittsburgh from and things like that because we also got this message hey guys i hate pulling pittsburgh credentials on you but uh, the reason why so many Yenters call them yeah. pigs in the blanket is because all of our Hungarian ancestors landed here fresh off the boat in Pittsburgh. Yeah. And so many of our grandmas and their little babushkas just <laughs> drill bit rolled over in their graves listening to <laughs> all hot dogs wrapped in crust and right. pigs in the blanket. Come on. All right. So a couple things. I do not have Hungarian ancestors, so I did not grow <laughs> up with pigs in a blanket being... You know, some sort of like pork wrapped in sausage. It was always stuffed cabbage or cabbage roll for me. I I, I don't know what to call that. I never ate that. I don't think I've ever. Plenty of time. I don't think I've ever had like a stuffed cabbage roll in my life. Delicious. So pigs in a blanket for me are like a little hot dog or sausage, you know, wrapped up in in dough. I did not know that this was such a you know point of contention about where we're deciding what is tech that like it could be both but what do you more commonly know as pigs in a blanket uh i have put this now up on a poll because uh we did get we did get another message bob i'm telling you we had the pigs are granny's the, rolling is that true no granny i don't think hungarian grannies are drill bit rolling over in their graves like brrr, spitting in their graves Babushka's flying all over the place. We did get another message, though. Hey, guys, catching up on the podcast. And, Mikey, I kind of want you to take a poll on something. Yeah, okay. You said that pigs in a blanket in reference to, you know, the stuffed cabbage rolls wasn't a Pittsburgh thing. But I really think it is because I always think when somebody says pigs, I think of that first before you know the little mini hot dogs so i'm curious how many other pittsburghers feel the same way i think this is just a nationality thing i I really think it is on what you call pigs in a blanket i don't even know if this is like a a specific pittsburgh thing i think this is just your ancestors where you know where your grandparents came from if they you know we're the first to come to the country or something whatever like that call, whatever they called it in your house when you're growing up when it was for dinner yes, basically it, and it can know. honestly be both yeah. it can be both too right yeah. all right so yeah. let's put this up on a poll you can vote on it at 961 kiss on twitter what do you more commonly know as uh as pigs in a blanket is it some sort of hot dog or sausage wrapped in dough or is it like some sort of pork wrapped in cabbage again you can vote we will monitor these throughout the show this is the pigs in a blanket show now uh so make sure you vote and we will give you results throughout the show today all right we have crazy italian guy coming up around 7 10 big steelers game tonight it's the weird thursday night football game in cleveland crazy italian guy always gets us hyped for a steeler game and he will do that around 7.10 this morning. It's Mikey and Bob. Stick around. 96 one kiss. The Mikey and Bob podcast. They said they heard a 28-year-old man yelling expletives. Expletives? Expletives uh, at the staff. Man, reading is bad today for me. When I got to read stuff, I'm crumbling. Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio. What I really want. It's Kiss Morning Freak Show. Mikey and Bob, first day of fall, and it sort of feels like it. Highs today just going in the mid-60s. It's going to be cloudy, breezy with some spotty showers all right now we have been talking about adam levine all week because of these cheating allegations 
If you haven't been following the story, an Instagram model named Sumner Stroh came forward with allegations that she had an affair with Adam Levine when he was uh, when he was married. There were several other women who came uh, out and said that they have flirty texts from Adam Levine even when he was married. And uh, now his former yoga instructor has come forward in an Instagram story post she titled Long Overdue, hashtag expose Adam Levine. Um, his former yoga teacher, Elena Zabel, who worked with him from 2007 to 2010, says he was guilty of sexting her. And he once texted her, I want to spend the day with you naked and said she had the best ass in town. Alana says that the text resulted in her boyfriend at the time flying into a jealous rage and says Adam Levine completely ignored it when she told him about it, uh, saying he never apologized. He removed me from their tour and iced me out during one of the most devastating times of my life, all from his one flirtatious text. So basically, Adam Levine's former, former yoga instructor is coming forward saying, he basically, you know, was texting me things. I want to spend the day with you naked. She had a boyfriend at right, the time. Right. The boyfriend either found out or she, like you should in a committed relationship, said, hey, Adam Levine just said he wants to spend the day with me naked. That guy got mad at it. It probably ruined their relationship and sent her into, you know, a dark time in her life. All because Adam Levine is like, I want to spend the day with you naked. You got the best ass in town. And now a source tells people uh, that Adam's pregnant wife, Victoria's Secret model, Bahati Prinsloop, is mm. very upset by the cheating allegations. Uh, he admitted that he went behind her back and has been very inappropriate. He admitted that he acted like an idiot. She's still very upset, though. But she's 100 uh, percent committed to her family and he doesn't want a divorce. Uh, they were, And I don't think, I don't know if she does, but he wants to make things better. He doesn't want a divorce. That's according to a source with people. And then somebody dug up an interview from 2009 in Cosmopolitan where Adam Levine talked about cheating, saying, instinctively, monogamy is not in our genetic makeup. People cheat. I have cheated. And you know what? There is nothing worse than the feeling of doing it. Ah! Uh, <laughs> what sort Weird. of quote is that? You know what? I've cheated. People cheat. And monogamy is not in our genetic makeup. But you know what? There's nothing worse than cheating. He ends it with, I like, don't okay, like well, how it feels. Then don't cheat then. It's pretty Creep. simple when you're in a committed relationship. So uh, who knows where this goes from here. But the big thing yesterday was sort of, I mean, Adam and Prince Lou have been seen out a couple times this week running errands and stuff. So I don't know if this leads to a divorce or if this just eventually goes away. But either way. Some uh, some more allegations from uh, yesterday was Adam Levine's former yoga instructor. All right, we'll get to today in Freak Show history coming up around 7 a.m. Also, crazy Italian guy gets us ready for Steelers-Browns tonight. That's coming up around 7.10. It's Mikey and Bob. Not even one kiss. The Mikey and Bob podcast. Mikey and Bob, it's the 96 one kiss morning freak show. We'll get to today in freak show history here in just a couple minutes. Also around 7.10, crazy Italian guy gets us all hyped, gets us all pumped up like only he can for tonight's big Steelers-Browns Thursday night football game in Cleveland. Now we are hung up on pigs in a blanket today on the show uh this was a thing that started yesterday what do you most commonly refer to as pigs in a blanket is it some sort of hot dog or sausage wrapped in dough or like a crescent roll mm -hmm. or is it like pork wrapped up in in cabbage uh ross tweets us here what florida born criminal calls stuffed cabbage pigs in a blanket and then of course we put a poll up on what do you know pigs in a blanket as right so far 72 percent of people who responded and again, this could be people who follow us or the station outside of Pittsburgh. What do you commonly know as pigs in a blanket? 72% of people right now are saying the hot dog or sausage wrapped in crescent roll. Uh, Josh tweets here, 72% of you are confused, but 28% of you are psychotic. Uh, <laughs> Wheezy tweets us here, thank God my grandma's dead and didn't know what Twitter was. Or she'd be cursing out 72% of you in Slovak right now. So, again, I think it has to do with your uh, background, how you grew up. Uh, Mikey and Bob, hello. Hey, uh, my grandmother was actually the one that uh, showed me it when I was growing up. Yeah. And then my mom took over the recipe. But uh, it was actually, we had beef and rice and cabbage. That's the way we 
we thought of pigs in a blanket. Beef, rice, and cabbage. I feel like that is pretty common for, like, stuffed cabbage, right? I just didn't know that people actually called that pigs in a blanket. Now, what, what's your background, though? Like, where was your mom and grandma, whatever? What's the nationality or origin of co- country of origin? Uh, Czechoslovakia and, yeah. like, Slovak area and, like, Polish. Yeah, okay, all right. And we obviously have a huge population of that in Pittsburgh. I think that's why, you know, when me and Bob, we don't come from Slovak or anything like that that or we're not hungarian i think since we don't have that background to us we never grew up with pigs in a blanket being cabbage at all so i think they're both correct depending on how you grew up yeah i mean that's the way that you guys as soon as i heard it on the radio i was like yeah it's beef rice and cabbage to me yeah either way it's passed down from a granny no matter what <laughs> that's true oh, absolutely because yeah. even <laughs> like the, how we're describing pigs in a blanket like little hot dogs or sausage wrapped in a crescent roll Grand- Grandma made that for me first, right? <laughs> yeah, they threw a little, like, uh, spaghetti sauce on there, some tomatoes. Your Slovak granny was getting after it. Oh, yeah, she loved she loved their spices. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. Hey, we appreciate you listening and calling, man. You have a good one. All right, you as well. Thanks. All right, now is the uh, time of the show where we take you back to a moment in the show that made us laugh, made us smile. It's time for today in Freak Show history. Here we go. Today. Today in Freak Show History. Today in Freak Show History. Bob, today's a very special day. Okay. Elephant Appreciation Day today. Oh, wow. So for today in Freak Show History, we take you back (laughs) to the exact moment in the show where Uh for the first time in our lives, we watched on YouTube an aggressive video of elephant mating. Oh my. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. He's in. Oh. <laughs> He's in. <laughs> no way right there, right? Wow. No. Elephant painting. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. How about that for a noise, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what a what a finish to that! <laughs> Girl, I like you. I do. Mikey and Bob, it's the ninety six one Kiss Morning Freak Show. Since it is the first day officially of fall today, me and Bob, by request, will power rank our top five favorite fall food and drinks. Uh, coming up around seven fifty five. It's a big list. It's fall, y'all. My favorite food and drinks. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. It's a big game for the Steelers tonight. It is uh, the weird Thursday night football game, which is on Amazon Prime Video, but locally will uh, be shown on WPXI. Of course, you can also listen to it on the home of the Steelers on the radio, 1025 DVE. So big game for the Steelers tonight, taking on the Browns. Crazy Italian guy has been calling our show for years now. He's actually become a really good friend of ours. And every week he sort of puts out a video. Uh, And again, you can follow him on Instagram. You can follow him on TikTok at Nate, the crazy Italian guy. So he gets, I mean, he is Pittsburgh through and through. No fair weatherness. He loves, all. he just loves that he is this damn city, is, you know? Um, so he took a video and he's getting everybody hyped for Steelers, Browns. And this is what he does every week. And he is on a boat wearing a tiny Life preserver, because, I mean, crazy Italian guy's a big, massive guy. He's like a a weightlifter, right? Uh Uh-huh. So it is, like, barely fitting around his neck, a little life preserver. It's crazy Italian guy on a boat. Crazy Italian guy sailing down the Ohio River on my way to tame this puppy pack. (laughs) Nothing's going to stop us, Pittsburgh. By the way, I rented this boat from Pittsburgh Boat Battle. Call him up. (laughs) Tell Shane, crazy Italian guy sent you. You'll get it this cat too. Oh, wait, hold on. He's throwing plugs into his video now. <laughs> he's like a Yinsfluencer. Like a Yinzer influencer. Yes, so yes. he's getting Pittsburgh bow rentals to take him out for this Steeler video. I want everybody on this voyage with me. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're going all the way, Pittsburgh. We had a little wave in the water on the way. Yeah. We lost to New England. Yeah. But it's okay. Yeah. The whole division lost. Yeah. We're going to be fine. Yeah. Thursday night, we wipe up. These grand states, yeah. and that's going to be it. No fair weather in this Pittsburgh. I can see the Super Bowl on the horizon. Wow. We're going to be kings of the world. Wow. He 
he's doing the Titanic. Wow. He's doing the full Titanic. It's crazy Italian guy on a boat. Steelers! All right, so the video ends with just him yelling Steelers with a way too tiny for him life preserver wrapped around his neck. It's beautiful. He's at the front of a boat, and he is just getting us all hype. I was not ready for Celine Dion uh, Titanic to come in there, but Steelers! It's, it's just the best, right? It's just the best. <laughs> Thursday night, we wipe up these brand stains. Steelers! Uh, you can see the video for yourself. You can follow him on uh, Instagram and TikTok at Nate the Crazy Italian Guy. You can also check out his video of him getting us hyped for Steelers Browns on a boat. 961kiss.com up on our Mikey and Bob page. 961kiss. <laughs> It's Kiss Morning Freak Show, Mikey and Bob. First day of fall today, and it sort of feels like it. Highs just going to the mid-60s. It's going to be cloudy, breezy with some uh, spotty showers. If you have not tried this out yet, iHeartland is now on Roblox. You can watch live concerts. You can hang out with friends, become a Roblox music tycoon, do a bunch of things. It's pretty cool. Uh, iHeartland is free. It's easy to play, even if you've never played Roblox before. You can check it out at roblox.com slash iHeartland. Now, I don't know why we got talking about this yesterday on the show, pigs in a blanket, but this is spiraled out of control now. It's all people are leaving us messages about what do you commonly know as pigs in a blanket? Is it like a hot dog or sausage wrapped in like a, a crescent roll or some type of dough? Is it is it cabbage related? Because there are some people saying it's, you know, pork wrapped in cabbage. And this is just the whole thing. We got a poll up on Twitter right now. Hey, Mikey and Bob. So I am a quarter Polish. My mom's mom was 100% pure Polish. All right, Polish credentials are out now. I've lived in Pittsburgh my entire life, yep. and I have never in my life heard of pigs in a blanket be anything other than hot dogs wrapped in a crescent roll. Okay, wow. I've never had pork inside cabbage. I've never... I, that, that's what that has always been to me. I am so confused about this, and i got to be honest. There, I'm like, I'm... I just know pigs in a blanket is like a little hot dog wrapped in a crescent roll. Right, right. But I also have no background of, like, Slovak or Hungarian heritage, like, with cabbage. Hi, Mikey and Bob. I heard you guys talking about pigs in a blanket. There we go. Um, and I'm going to pull out some credentials here. I have a very, <laughs> very Polish family. <laughs> okay, here comes the Polish credentials. And we actually call them gloomkies. Okay, gloomkies. Which I believe is just the Polish word. Yeah. Uh, for what you guys are talking about. Gloomkies. It's like stuffed cabbage with beef, rice, all that good stuff. All right. So it's gloomkies. You can actually look it up on Google. Thanks. Okay, gloomkies is sort of what the pigs in the blanket might be known as. But hold on, let me get to one more pigs in a blanket message. Good morning, mispronounced Mikey and pigs in a blanket, Bob. Solid names right there for us. <laughs> here to report that the OG pigs in a blanket comes from IHOP, where they used to wrap sausage links in pancakes okay no okay we are Listen. all over the place now <laughs> no 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 hold on <laughs> what is if, happening if there is one thing that it is not it is not <laughs> that pigs in a blanket originated at ihop no we're talking about stories and people sending us messages of like four <laughs> generations ago my slovakian great great grandmother you know wrapped pork in cabbage and that's what we call pigs in a blanket maybe this, this guy's, guy's maybe this guy's great grandma took an ihop though and that was no man that was piggies in a blanket i hop ain't that old <laughs> i hop ain't that old. there's no like so, some slovakian granny didn't come over here like a hundred years ago and just go eh, you know what i need i need to start some pancake place and introduce everybody to pigs in a blanket i don't think i hop created pigs like you can get pigs in a blanket maybe at i hop i'm not that familiar There's with the IHOP Slovakian venue? granny right now just spinning in her grave. <laughs> she heard things in a blanket at IHOP, and that was enough. Okay, is the Slovakian <laughs> grandma who has passed away spinning in her grave now because we're uh, we're saying IHOP may have invented pigs in a blanket? <laughs> yeah. Is she spinning fast in her grave like a drill bit, or is she spinning like a Slovakian granny rotisserie? How is she spinning in her grave? I think it's a slow spin. Okay, this is a slow spin. Yeah, so yeah. Just waiting. A slow disapproving spin. Okay, so all right, hold on. So let's let's reenact this again. Here is a guy claiming that IHOP invented pigs in a blanket. Good morning, mispronounced Mikey and pigs in a blanket, Bob. Yep. I'm here to report. 
that the OG pigs in a blanket comes from IHOP, where they used to wrap sausage links <laughs> in pancakes. Okay, now here is the OG great, great, great Slovakian granny slowly spinning in her grave because IHOP did not invent pigs in a blanket. Styles last night, uh, 15 straight sellouts at Madison Square Garden. They raised a banner to the rafters last night. Did you see the video? Like, Harry was actually getting emotional. Harry tears. <laughs> Harry tears last night at Madison Square Garden. 15 straight sellouts at the Garden. And they, uh, they raised a banner for his uh, 15 straight sellouts to the rafters. I, I think that's a cool thing. Are you are you down with that? Like when an artist has played one arena so many times, they put a, a like a banner up, you know? I kind of like that. I, I think that's kind of cool to go with any sports banners that might be up there. Yeah, we have enough championships here in Pittsburgh. Oh, there you go. I got all the scoring titles, all the championships yeah, we no won in the arena. No, ain't no more room. Ain't no more room for banners up there. All <laughs> Penguins banners. Up there, ain't no room for no Harry Banner. Uh, so that was pretty cool last night for uh, Harry Styles at Madison Square Garden. It is Mikey and Bob, the 96 1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Uh, this is weird. Thursday night football is weird. It does not feel like there is a Steeler game on. This does not feel like like a Steeler Sunday feeling. Right, right. Thursday night football, it's Steelers at uh, Browns. It's on Amazon Prime Video tonight. Jeans and jerseys in the office today on a Thursday. Yes, we'll do a little black. Three bucks. Three bucks. Three bucks to bring it in. Three bucks. Put it in the pot. We're doing a little office potluck for the black and gold. Love you, black and gold. Um, so yeah, it's it's on Amazon Prime Video tonight. But also, if you're in Pittsburgh or Cleveland, uh, you can watch it locally. It'll be on WPXI here, and of course, you can listen to it on 102.5 DD, your radio home of the Steelers. Mitch Trubisky talked yesterday, so hold on, let me get the Rugrats music here because Mitchell Trubisky, as we know, Steelers starting quarterback, doesn't really say a lot in interviews. You know, he's uh kind of bland and just uh, gives you typical leadership answer. So we try to spice up Mitch Trubisky by playing the Rugrats theme song and even the Thomas the Tank Engine theme song uh, under him. So here was Mitch Trubisky yesterday when he was asked about, you know, hey, we know you're good at protecting the ball mm -hmm. and not, you know, making any turnovers, but do you also need to start being a little bit more aggressive? Here is Mitch Trubisky. There's a fine line between protecting the football and wanting to be aggressive. You want to be aggressive as a quarterback, but when you have a great defense, you also want to protect the football because they're always going to keep us in games. Yeah. It's that fine line. I got to protect the football, but we want to be aggressive. All right, fine line. You got a good defense, got to protect the football, but also got to be aggressive. Of course, Mitch Trubisky is going to say that and not really give us uh, an answer. The Rugrats is so good, by the way. It, it really it is. It made me smile real big. I know. I see, like, as soon as you hit it, it made me smile. The Mitch quotes are just the Mitch quotes. <laughs> Everybody has these. We're not, we're not interviewing Mitch Trubisky ourselves or anything like that. Like, these are just what the media asked him yesterday in the locker room. So we have the quotes but also we have the thomas the tank engine theme song here was mitch trubisky when he was asked about you know hey have you talked to the coaches about throwing more deep balls yeah definitely we've had those conversations about when when's a good time to take those chances and i think that's um good feedback for me uh when's a better time to be aggressive and make better decisions and doing so so i've gotten good feedback from them that's just the conversations you have and how you grow up in the offense um after two weeks <laughs> makes me happy. It does. Like, it does. I'm telling you, man, we found a pocket here with Mitch Trubisky with Rugrats and Thomas the Tank Engine. All right, now one more here. Mitch Trubisky was asked a question, and I got to keep the uh, reporter question in here, too, because it's basically about, you know, how he performs in, you know, w with Kenny Pickett, first round draft pick. He's probably a pro ready quarterback. We've seen him, you know, perform well in the preseason. Here's a question sort of about Kenny waiting in the wings uh, asked to Mitch Trubisky, but also we'll play the Rugrats theme song under it. 
you feel secure enough that in that, hey, I'm a starter, or is there a concern, man, if I had one or two mistakes and, you know, you got a guy behind you that they drafted that? No, I'm not, uh, I'm not worried about mistakes. Um, and you all, I, I do think about protecting the football and being smart and making good decisions. I'm not worried about mistakes. Those happen. But as an offense, we just got to score more points. So how do we do that? That's, that's got to be our mindset, scoring more points. See what I'm talking about with Mitch Trubisky? There's a very sensitive reporter question. Hey, there's this guy. Are you, like, sort of nervous? Right, Do you, right. like, not want to take deep shots yeah. and risk turnovers because he's sitting there? And then it ends with Mitch Trubisky just like, yeah, you know, on offense, we just got to score more points. <laughs> okay, Mitch. <laughs> Go get them brownies. All right, coming up next on the show, since it is the first day of fall today, me and Bob will power rank our top five favorite fall food and drinks around 8 a.m. It's Mikey and Bob. Mikey and Bob, it is the 96-1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. We have your chance to go see Post Malone next week. Big 96-1 Kiss Show at the arena. Post Malone tickets around 9 a.m. Now, uh, we got this message earlier. And again, you can send us messages if you're listening to the show live or if you're just a Mikey and Bob podcast listener. If you're streaming us on the iHeartRadio app, just hit the talk back microphone, send us a message. Maybe you'll make the show. Hi, Mikey and Bob. I was just wondering if you guys have ever ranked your top five favorite pumpkin slash fall um, food slash drinks. Um, if you guys do it, can you do it in your office lady voices? <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Bye. Okay. So hold on. Power rank our top five favorite fall food and drinks, but do it in our office lady oh, voice. Oh, you know it. Because we know that uh, office ladies, today's our day. It's finally here. It's officially fall. And I love fall most of all. Big list right here. Here we go. <laughs> Love everything about fall, oh, the yeah. leaves, and pumpkin hey. spice, and everything nice. Sweater weather, boop 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 boop. Sweater weather, boop 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 boop. Sweater weather, you can feel it outside. It's sweater weather. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite color is October, <laughs> and my blood type is pumpkin spice. All right, this is a big list here. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? Yes. I'll start. Top five favorite fall food and drinks. Number five, apple pie. Number four, Tootsie Roll makes these. It's those caramel apple pops. Oh, Oh, my God. Yeah. I have a bowl of those in my cubicle. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? I do. I absolutely do. It's like the 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 green green apple sour sucker, but it's like dipped in caramel. Oh, my God. I can suck on that all day. Number three, pumpkin pie. (laughs) Love me some pumpkin pie. Squirt some whipped cream on it. Just a little bit, though, because I got to watch it. I can't. Listen, I always put on a few ponds in the fall, okay? I don't want to have a pumpkin pie potch. (laughs) Got to watch it. Like like this area right here? Yeah, I I don't want to get a potch. It's right around my belt area there. I like if I eat too much pumpkin pie in the fall, I goes, get a goes right to the pot. Pumpkin pie pot. I got a pumpkin pie pot. <laughs> this has gone off the rails. Right? Like, why would you tell us to do this in an office? Anyways? All right, what am I doing here? Uh, top five favorite fall food and drinks. Number two, I got pumpkin coffee. Oh, oh, oh. Now listen, if I was a, if I was a typical like office lady, I think I, that's where pumpkin spice latte would be. But I'm a big coffee drinker, right? And I, I think I, I just, just like go basic pumpkin I coffee. Just like pumpkin okay, coffee, right, I yeah. do. Not number one, no. Uh, number one. I mean, number one's not an office lady thing, though. No, this is a Mikey thing because this is my list. My favorite thing about fall. Fall food and drinks, number one, it's very specific. Pittsburgh Brewing Company Block House Brewing Pumpkin Ale. Number oh one in the best. Oh, oh my. Oh, my. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Woo! Let go, let go. Love me some pumpkin beer, and that's the best one. Love the Block House Pumpkin Ale. Oh, my gosh. I can just suck them down one after another. But listen, can't drink too many, though. Don't want to get a pumpkin ale potch. Right here. 
right to the pot. Right my midsection. I got a little potch going in the fall. I just, all right, Bob, let's get to your top five here. Uh, top Ooh. five <laughs> favorite fall food or drinks on the first day of fall. Number five. Apple cider donuts. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Love that. <laughs> Oh, I go to Sorgles. You know it. The whole day out of me. You know it. Number four, pumpkin donuts. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> double donuts. <laughs> really a donut? Oh, oh really, yeah. I really love the donuts, huh? They don't go to my potch. Oh. Only the pies go to the potch. <laughs> this is donut season for you. Number three favorite fall food or drink. It's apple pie. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> apple pie. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Pie. Can't, Can't put too much whipped cream not on too it. Much. Straight to the pot. Right to the pot. And you know what? Listen, I know we all do it. I have no self control when it comes to the whipped cream on top of the pumpkin pie. Cause little squirt for the pie, little squirt right directly in my mouth. Can't do too much though. Don't want to get a pumpkin pie potch. Number two, the pumpkin roll. Oh! <laughs> Is that also the pumpkin log? It's like, yeah, yeah, log okay, roll, yeah, yeah, whatever you want to call it. Man, those are good, those right? Those are good. Those are oh. real good. I love when I go in the break room in the office and there's a pumpkin log there, and it's got the little plastic knife where you can cut off your own slice, but then you're worried about how many of my coworkers have touched this pumpkin log before I eat my piece. I have a slice in the bake break room and i take one for the road back to the deck okay one all right so you, i cut myself a piece eat it right in the break room and then i act like oh i only had one piece i'm taking this piece to my cubicle double down on the pumpkin logs not number one though all right bob here we go your all-time favorite number one fall food or drink Reese's pumpkins man oh, wow. oh big oh, one oh, good oh, one oh, oh, yeah. let go let go love em. okay oh my goodness Trick or treat. No, no, no. It's not tight. It's spooky season, but we're not trick or treating yet. But listen, those pumpkins are out. Unleash those pumpkins. Keep, I, actually, keep them away from me. <laughs> I eat a whole bag. I don't want to get a pumpkin potch, a Reese's pumpkin potch. Why does it, listen, a pumpkin potch? Reese's peanut butter cups are fine as they are, right? Yeah. But Reese's just knows that, like, a couple times a year, they got to change the form of it. Like, Easter eggs, a pumpkin. Oh. The, the Christmas trees oh. around the holiday season, and yeah, a, lo a little pumpkin, right? That's your number one, I Reese's like, peanut butter pumpkins? I feel like also, like, when they do that away from the regular peanut butter cup design that those are the perfect like uh, yeah. peanut butter and chocolate ratio it's such a good balance you're right i think the easter egg's the best mm -hmm. one but yeah, oh my uh, god pumpkin season though keep me away from those reese's pumpkins because i will eat too many and then all of a sudden i got a pumpkin potch going i don't want to get a pumpkin potch <laughs> i don't know why any of you listen to me, honestly <laughs> Girl, I like you. That's Imagine Dragons, J-I-D, Enemy. It is Mikey and Bob, the 96-1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. I have seen the squirrel video, I believe, 100 times myself yeah, it, in the past 48 hours. It's everywhere. So if you haven't seen this video yet, I did not know this was a Pittsburgh video. I did not know this guy was at an office in Pittsburgh. You've probably seen the video because I saw it on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, I've seen the squirrel video everywhere now. It's a guy in an office, plain office. He's on a Zoom call. A squirrel gets into his office. He starts freaking out. I think at one point he grabs a bat. Uh, the video <laughs> made Kimmel last it night, did. so let's get to this. This is footage of a man. I don't know who the man is. He's from Pittsburgh, the Iron City, the home of the Steel Curtain. Oh, yeah. He's on a conference call in his office at home, and uh, things got a little squirrely. Yeah. Let's just get in to... There's a squirrel. Let's just get in. All right, so all this, so he's in his office. A squirrel gets into his room, and that's the reaction. And now it just escalates. I think he grabs a bat. <laughs> either but i don't know if i would react like that like what an aggressive reaction uh here was kimmel's jokes here. 
Roger being on that Zoom? Yeah. I saw, what did, uh, did squirrels kill his family? Why, <laughs> why is there a bat next to the desk? Can we please find that? Now I have questions that need to be answered. He did react like a squirrel <laughs> killed his entire family and is now coming for him, right? Yeah, Like, absolutely. the shock, the horror in, in that man's yells, like, it, he is screaming basically bloody murder because there's a squirrel in his office. <laughs> okay, it's not going to kill you. It's a squirrel, man. <laughs> Settle down, but what is it? Hey, the squirrel clip being from Pittsburgh, mm. Kimmel giving the steel curtain uh, explanation there. Whenever there is something Pittsburgh that goes big national like that to where Kimmel's mentioning yep, Pittsburgh, yep. We call that, there's a very specific name for that. Yinsburger. We just all feel that Pittsburgh Yinzer Pride, we call that a Yinsplosion. Uh, warning, warning. Uh, there's warning, an overload warning. of awesome yeah. Pittsburgh on the show right now. Uh, oh, man. Too much. Overload. Yes, Pittsburgh. Yinsplosion. Now, we have uh, so many messages that you have all sent us because this has been a thing. It started on the show yesterday with just a simple question. What do you know pigs in a blanket as? Some people know it as like a hot dog or sausage wrapped up in like dough or a crescent roll. And some people, what we've learned, uh, a lot of like Slovakian, you know, grandmothers or Hungarian uh, wrap like pork or something wrapped in sausage. Right, right. That's also known, I guess, as a pig in a blanket. I more commonly know it as the hot dog wrapped in dough because I did not grow up with the cabbage being a pig in a blanket. It was right? always stuffed cabbage for me growing up. All it right, was. so uh, let's update this because I put this poll out. There is well over a thousand people who've already voted on this this morning. So far, again, it's stuck at about the same spot. About 70% of people who responded say hot dog wrapped in like dough or a crescent roll. So that's going to upset the cabbage people. I think that 30% of people are only going for the cabbage. Right. Hold on. We got this message. So I am Hungarian. Okay. 100%. And All right. Hungarian credentials are out. 100% Hungarian. Pigs in the blanket were always the cabbage yeah. with the beef and the rice. Also known as galumpkis and hunky hand grenades. <laughs> What? Hunky hand grenades? Are we making things up now? <laughs> <laughs> like, are we making things up for the show now? Because I have never heard hunky hand grenades. No, that's also known as galumpkis and <laughs> hunky hand grenades. Galumpkis, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. Hunky hand grenades, though? That's what we're calling the cabbage rolls <laughs> or the pigs in a blanket? Hunky hand grenades? I like it. Uh, I don't like it, Bob. I love it. I, 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 like, I want pigs in a blanket completely out of my lexicon <laughs> i want to start calling the hot dog wrapped in the crescent roll too can that be a hunky hand grenade too i want that to be a hunky hand grenade <laughs> i don't want to say pigs in a blanket anymore i just want to call things hunky hand grenades by the way i can already see hunky hand grenades being part of our podcast title perfect yes uh, before we end yes. the uh, show all right you can keep voting on the poll at 961 kiss on twitter uh what do you associate pigs in a blanket with hot dog wrapped in dough or pork wrapped in cabbage sorry that hunky hand grenades is not one of the poll options all right stick around we got your chance to go see post malone next week Big 96.1 KISS show at the arena, 9 a.m. Post Malone tickets. 96.1 KISS. The Mikey and Bob Podcast. The picture you have in your head of a naked man scooting like a dog in a parking lot is great, isn't it? Stream the Mikey and Bob Podcast on iHeartRadio. I love you, It's the KISS Morning Freak Show. Mikey and Bob, first official day of fall today, and it does feel like it outside. Highs today just in the mid-60s. It's going to be cloudy, breezy with some spotty showers. Me and Bob were just uh, pretty confused used off the air because we got this message missing mikey and belated bob um i, I caught up on the podcast i was actually listening trying to listen to the live show today y'all are playing reruns um i've heard this show before i uh, <laughs> hope everything's okay hope you're all good uh look forward to seeing some hearing some new live shows soon okay thanks guys
Love you. All right, we are here today. This is not a best of show you're hearing. We are actually doing a live radio show today. So when we got that message, we were absolutely confused. But then uh, we got a follow up message. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. I was still listening to the podcast, <laughs> not the live radio on iHeartRadio. Yeah. That's why y'all were repeating stuff. Yeah, there you go. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Sorry, Mikey and Bob. Love your face. Like, it's confusing, and I know everybody has a different way they listen to the show. Some of you only listen for, like, you know, whatever, 10, 20 minutes on your morning commute, and that's it. Some of you have never listened to a full show of ours, which blows my mind. But then there's some people who don't even listen to the live radio anymore. You're just listening to our podcast. Right, right. So uh, it can't get confusing when you're on the iHeartRadio app. I love that he's so excited. He's like, I'm going to listen live. To- oh, it's a... Yes. I've heard the show. I love that he calls us out like, hey, where are you guys at? Hope everything's okay. And then he's like, ah, crap, never mind. Uh, just still listening to the uh, podcast here. Uh, it is a big night for the Steelers tonight. Week three game, all eyes of the football watching nation will be on Cleveland for uh, Steelers at Browns. Who's the Browns quarterback? I know Deshaun Watson, the problematic quarterback, is suspended, so he's not playing, obviously, tonight. Is it Jacob- Jacoby? Uh, Jacoby Brissett? Brissett, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what a big national TV audience NFL matchup. Uh, QB powerhouses Mitch Trubisky versus Jacoby Brissett tonight. Yes. Steelers at Browns. Uh, we got this message. Here, my voice, Mr. Mickelson. And wah, bah, blah, 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 bam, bam. What is happening what here with the... these names? I mean, just. Really missing T.J. Watt. Rip off, I'm missing Nate the Sack. T.J. Watt. Do you remember when we were singing yes. uh, that yes. T.J. Watt song? Is that when T.J. Watt signed his extension with the Steelers? I, I think we yeah. just got obsessed. It was like a week I of believe, shows yeah, yeah. where all we could sing was T.J. Watt. Talking about T.J. Watt. All right, let's get to more of this message. I do going to say. Uh, should we blame the QB? Should we blame the line or the defense to let them ten yard passes to transpire? Heck no. Blame Canada. Yes. Blame Canada. Yes. He's not even a real user anyway. Steelers. Steelers. All right. Steelers. Wonderful message there. Singing about TJ Watt using the South Park Blame <laughs> Canada song, which, you know, we've memed into the sun here in Pittsburgh. Blame Canada. Because he is the offensive coordinator for a uh, basically wet fart of an offense so far this season. So it's weird Thursday night football. Like we're going to do the Steelers like Facebook comment show. Right, right. Yeah. Here's what Tomlin and Mitch said and Cam said after the game. We're going to do that show on a Friday. It just seems feels, weird. Yeah, feels strange. Uh, but Thursday night football, it is on Amazon Prime Video because they have the rights to Thursday night football. But if, you know, since it is a Steeler game. Uh, They allow, this week, Pittsburgh and Cleveland to show the game locally. So Amazon has it. You can also watch it locally on WPXI. Or, of course, you can listen to it on the radio home of the Steelers, 1025 DVE. We got your chance to win Post Malone tickets coming up around 9 a.m. It's Mikey and Bob. Stick around. We got your Post Malone tickets coming up just a couple minutes here. It is Mikey and Bob, the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Let's get to this message. Good morning, Mandalorian Mikey and Bubba Fett Bob. Love the Star Wars names there. <laughs> I know how much Mikey loves Star Wars and yep. how much it can get him off track. So I just wanted to... Pop in and ask if he had a chance to watch Andor. I know he gets the Star Wars sweaties when he starts to talk about uh, <laughs> Star Wars on the show, so I just wanted to get his opinion. Love you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. All right, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Like, Star Wars sweaties. All right, there's a couple things, if you've been listening to the show long enough, where you know that I get very passionate about talking about on the show. Star Wars is one of those triggers for me. Uh, Marvel, The Marvel Cinematic Universe is another one of those triggers for me power washing just yeah yeah talking about power washing i can get really hype and excited is that what it is is it, is it the star wars sweaties that i get when i talk about star wars i think you do yeah uh, so yes yesterday on disney plus a brand new star wars show uh-huh. premiered called andor the first three episodes came out yesterday i did say on yesterday's show i could easily watch those three in a day but me and my daughter addison are re-watching all of the star wars movies and shows so instead of watching new and or yesterday, I was re-watching and wow. watching for the first time with her 
um, the first three episodes of the Clone Wars series. So you didn't even watch the new series? No, and it's a weekly series, I believe, and there's like, I don't know, 10, 15 episodes or something. So I got time. It was just the first three episodes. So, I no, I did not watch Andor yet because I, with my daughter, we are doing a daddy-daughter Star Wars watch. So we watched the first two movies. Usually you start breaking down if you don't see something within 24 hours. I mean, I'm going to I'm gonna see it this before. Okay, I'm, I'm, like, talk to me on Monday and I'll tell you all about Andor, but no, I did not see it all, oh, man. By the way, oh, I gotta be careful here because I'm starting to get Star Wars sweaty, but oh, Marvel too. I mean, you stopped and told me by the way and then just wiped your face. <laughs> I did. What, what the hell are you about to tell me? I don't know. Well, I'm going to tell you there's a new episode of uh, She-Hulk on Disney Plus today. And that, of course, is a very popular Marvel series where ooh, they have by the way, new weekly episodes. <laughs> listen, well, I, I'm Ooh, I was let me wipe my brow. Uh, no, I here's what happened. I was transported from our studio to my house. <laughs> you were. You on, were on my Roku stick. <laughs> I was hitting Disney Plus, <laughs> and instead of going to Star Wars, where Andor and the Clone Wars, yeah, everything yeah, is waiting yeah. for me, I went to the Marvel section where there is a brand new episode of She Hulk on today. So very excited about seeing a new episode of She Hulk. Very excited to watch all the Star Wars stuff with my daughter. And eventually, yes, I will watch this new Star Wars show and or I feel like I'm officially Star Wars sweaty now. This has been enough Star Wars talk. I, I think we're good. Yeah, it, it, we're this good. is what it like when I get Star Wars sweaty. You've reached your limit here. Yeah. OK. All right. Let's give away some Post Malone tickets. Then here we go. We now on 96.1. Mike and Bob, it is the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. we got to give away our Post Malone tickets here. Hello. Oh, wow. That's awesome. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is awesome. Hi. What's your name? How are you doing? My name is Buddy. I'm working for Custom Turf right now. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Are you uh, calling for Post Malone tickets? Probably right. Yes, sir. Buddy, caller number nine. You're going to see Post Malone. Wow. No freaking way. You're lying, dog. Wow, buddy. Yeah, dog. <laughs> oh, my God. No way. This is awesome. You're having a good day today, aren't you, buddy? I am now that I got to talk to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This well, is so cool. Uh, next week, it's, it's Wednesday, right, at the arena. We got a pair of tickets for you to go see Post Malone. Just hold on one second. We'll get you all the details on how to get your tickets, okay? Yeah, buddy. We will have more Post Malone tickets for you to win uh, tomorrow morning, Friday morning around 9 a.m. here on the Kiss Morning Freak Show. So everybody's hyped for tonight. It is the weird Thursday night football. Steelers are in Cleveland uh, taking on the Browns. And a guy who is a legit friend of ours now, but really just started as a caller to the show. Uh, his name is Nate. We call him crazy Italian guy because mm -hmm. that's just... He's Italian. He's a big dude with a bunch of tattoos. He's very excited. He is such a diehard, just not even Pittsburgh sports fan, just a diehard Pittsburgher, just born and bred Yinzer. And like weekly during the Steeler season, he will put out these Steeler hype videos. So you can follow him on Instagram and TikTok at Nate. The crazy Italian guy. So if you want to see these videos at Nate, the crazy Italian guy, he, I think he rented a boat yesterday <laughs> and was on the Ohio River. Uh -huh. with, you know, and again, he's a big, massive dude. He lifts weights. And he has a little, it almost looks like a child's life preserver around his neck. He's at the front of the boat. There's some Titanic vibes going on. And here is crazy Italian guy getting us all hype for Steelers Browns Thursday night football. Crazy Italian guy sailing down the Ohio River. <laughs> On my way to tame this puppy pen. All right, tame the puppy pond in Cleveland. Nothing's going to stop us, Pittsburgh. Yes. By the way, I rented this boat from Pittsburgh Boat Rental. <laughs> Call them up. Tell Shane, crazy if that guy sent you, you'll get at this cat, too. I just love that he's like a, yin, a, a yinzer influencer. Yes, now. He's yes. like, he's a yin, yin's fluencer. <laughs> like, he's, he's got a boat rental going on. And I want everybody. On this voyage with me. Yes. We're going all the way, Pittsburgh. Yeah. We had a little wave yeah. in the water on the way. Yeah. We lost to New England. Aye. But it's okay. Yeah. The whole division loss. We're going to be fine. Yeah. Thursday night, yeah. we wipe up these brand stakes. <laughs> and that's going to be it. No fair weather this Pittsburgh. Yeah. I can see the Super Bowl on the horizon. We're going to be kings of the world. So 
he's doing the Titanic thing. He's on the front of the boat on the Ohio River. So you got to see the video again. You can follow Crazy Italian Guy. He's at <laughs> Nate the Crazy Italian Guy on Instagram and TikTok. So, you know, Celine Dion's playing. He's doing the Leo King of the World thing, right? Uh, from Titanic mm -hmm. on the front of the boat. And then the just record scratching. <laughs> it's just best. So it is Thursday night football tonight. Steelers at Browns. You can watch the game on Amazon Prime Video. It's also shown locally tonight on WPXI and on the radio side, the home of the Steelers on the radio, 1025 DVE. And then, of course, it's weird to do it on a Friday, but we will recap the Steelers game tomorrow. Probably read some Steelers Facebook comments on a Friday. That's yeah, like a Monday yeah. thing, but we'll do it on tomorrow's show. Steelers! It's the Kiss Morning Freak Show. Mikey and Bob, remember our iHeartRadio Music Festival is happening uh, tomorrow, Friday and Saturday night out in Vegas. It's Megan Thee Stallion. It's Diddy. It's Halsey. It's Morgan and Wallen. It's Luke Combs. It's Pitbull. It's Marin Morris. It's Black Eyed Peas and so many more. Big weekend of music out in Vegas and you can stream it for free on the CW app. You can watch it on CWTV.com or you can listen to it right here. Friday and Saturday night on 96.1 KISS. Now, let's get to um, today's Raccoon Tim update. This guy has been leaving us messages for a few weeks on the show now. Uh, he has a lot of animals. He originally started because my family took in a baby raccoon for like a weekend. Uh, because it was, it needed help. We needed to get it to a shelter. So it lived in my garage for a weekend until we could get it to a, a shelter. Right. 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 Uh, so raccoon Tim, uh, sent a message, Mikey, I can get you as many raccoons as you want. If you want a raccoon for a pet. And now he's, he's told us about his other animals before. I'm Mikey and big Bob raccoon Tim. You can also call me animal King. Yep. I have a pit bull sharp named Dippy, a black and white cat named Fluffy, a leopard gecko named Spots. Yeah. Six rats, George, XOXO, Oreo, Snowy, and Lucky. I mean, it just keeps going on and on with the amount of animals that Raccoon Tim has, mm -hmm. right, that he's told us about. But hold on. Raccoon Tim also wants to uh, also wanted to share some pet nicknames. Hey, Mikey and Big Bob. Raccoon Tim here. <laughs> My cat, Fluffy Butts. Nickname is Fluff Enough, I guess. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. My dog, Dippy's name is Dippawack. Because he's the dippy of all Cadillacs. All right, I, there's a lot going on there, but <laughs> hold on. That's not the end of Raccoon Tim messages because we have another message from him. Hey, Mikey and Big Bob. Raccoon Tim here. And by the way, I love I love that every message starts he introduces, to say, yeah. Hey, Mikey and Bob. Raccoon Tim here. Never change Raccoon Tim. What is the first thing you learned to cook? Oh. I was about three years old when I learned that I could climb on the counter I can stuff bread into a machine, yeah. press a button, and out comes toast. Yeah, toast. I feel like toast may be the first thing we all learn to cook. Uh, sure, yeah. Right? No, no, no. I take that. I feel like cereal might be the first thing that I learned to, like, make for myself. Maybe a bowl of cereal? I don't know. I feel like a little kid. I'm just spilling milk all over the place. I don't know. That was a while ago. I don't really remember Raccoon Tim. Except for the one day I caught the kitchen on fire. Oh, Raccoon. Oh, no. My mom and dad weren't happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh geez where'd his phone go right there what, go on. what was that sort of dismount there raccoon tim like did he just say <laughs> i burned I, I i caught the kitchen on fire when i was three years old making toast my mom and dad weren't happy and then it feel like he chucked his phone into a pond my mom and dad weren't happy <laughs> <laughs> like what happened to the phone there all right so that is uh, a wonderful listener to the show raccoon tim who has been leaving us messages for a few weeks now <laughs> it's mikey bob the 96 one kiss morning freak show happy first day of fall oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. spooky season knock knock who's at the door pumpkins <laughs> Uh, it is going to feel like fall today. Highs just in the mid 60s, cloudy, breezy with some spotty showers. Now, Bob, what is the naked streak currently at? Because we got to get to a naked story right now. How many shows in a row have we done where we have covered a naked story? What are we at? Today will be 27. 27 straight shows with a naked story. There's always people getting naked, getting arrested, making the news, then making our show. It is time for a naked story. Hey! 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 
Shorty Dredd is accused of being nude and relieving himself from a balcony. All right, this is an Atlanta rapper known as Shorty Dredd. Way up there. People here said he did it so often they thought about using an umbrella to cover themselves when they walked what? in this area. <laughs> what is happening here? All right, so this guy, there is a it's rapper like, in Atlanta. I mean, this isn't like a super well-known rapper or anything no, like this, right? It's like mid-downtown where it's busy, people are walking around, and this guy's just naked out on his balcony. Balcony. Yes, but he's also urinating off the balcony, too. too, and people are so used to it now that they consider bringing umbrellas when they walk by the building. He told me he did nothing wrong. I'm innocent. I promise I didn't do this. All right, so that is Shorty <laughs> Dread right there saying he's innocent. He did nothing wrong. He didn't do this. What he's accused of doing had people who work near 14th and West Peachtree Street using words like gross, unconscionable, and insane. I mean, really, do we need do, do we need to interview people now? Is this what we're going to do? They're going to interview people about, hey, what do you think about the naked guy <laughs> urinating off the balcony? Like, n there's going to be nobody in the news interviews where they're like, you know what? We, we could use some rain. We could use some rain. We need that rain. Like, there's nobody who's going to be like, yeah, you know. I love it. I love it. Give is me it more. Is it his apartment? Yeah, he can pee off the balcony if he wants. No, of course people are going to be like. That's disgusting. What is wrong with these people today? Holy smokes. Oh, you got to. I mean, that guy didn't even get the holy smokes out. He just goes, holy smokes. <laughs> people who work and walk in the area say for weeks a man routinely walked out of a. And what what is that? Weeks. weeks. High rise unit at the Icon Midtown Apartments with. Not a stitch of clothes on. All right, so he's walking out on his balcony naked. They say he then relieves himself through the balcony bars with yeah. his bodily fluids falling down below. Like, is his toilet not working? Then he doesn't want to go all the way down a bunch of flights of stairs. Oh, maybe, or maybe he's got a clog. Maybe he's got a oh, clog, wow. and then he's just like, well, I don't want to go all the way downstairs. It's okay if I just pee off the balcony, because he he, he's been doing it for weeks. I asked New if he relieved himself from the balcony. No, I wasn't. I promise I wasn't. Who's that in the video? Yeah, they had a video. Uh, they asked who's in the video. I didn't see no I promised I wasn't in the... <laughs> All right, hold on. He shuts up real quick because they're like, hey, we got video. It's you in the video. Yeah, it's not yeah. you. Who's in the video? And he's like, I was... he's basically trying to say like he wasn't in the video. You know? Like that's what he, that's that's what like, he was But we have the video. Yes, but we have the video. So like... Again, he then gets arrested, goes to jail. Why? Because for weeks he would walk out onto his balcony naked and use it as a toilet, but not on the balcony, down below to anybody who was walking by. Just disgusting, just gross. And it is a naked person making the show once again. Not even a crime kiss. The Mikey and Bob podcast. I'm wrong with the maple glaze donut. I yeah. mean, if it comes knocking at my front door, I'm letting it in. Okay, is there a donut that if a donut knocked on your front door, is there any donut you're denying or is every donut getting in? Oh, they're all getting in. What happens when the Steelers are playing Thursday night football? Well, we just get messages like this. Nothing else, just this. That's it. No, That's all. No, hi. No, I like <laughs> listening to the show. No, my, hi, Mikey and Bob, my name is this, just somebody sends us this. Steelers! That's what we're about, that's what uh, Pittsburgh is. It's a big game tonight, it's Thursday night football, you can watch it on Amazon uh, Prime Video, you can watch it on uh, WPXI, you can listen to it on DVE, Steelers at Browns tonight, which means no matter what happens in the game, there will be Facebook comments on the show tomorrow. If the Steelers beat the Browns, we might read Steelers and Browns fans' Facebook comments. Either way, we're going to have some Steeler fun on the show uh, tomorrow morning. Hey, also, how about a little bit A uh, Let's Go Pens, man? Hey, 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 let's go Pens, man! Camp starts today. Like, yeah, yeah. Right now. Rolling now. They're in Cranberry. It is the start of Penguins camp. I know they did a bunch of media stuff yesterday. Well, let's go Pens, man. Uh, I just loved to see Dan Potash, um, our buddy from AT&T Sportsnet, rekindling uh, his friendship with Evgeny Malkin. They did an interview yesterday, and 
Uh, Potash was just there doing a bunch of stuff. It's just good to see the guys back together. Uh, Penguins training camp is open today, right now, actually, up in Cranberry at the uh, UPMC Lemieux Sports Complex. 17th season with Sid, Gino, and Latang. And um, 17 straight playoff uh, appearances. So uh, non-game day practices are free and open to the public. So uh, it is that time. How about a little bit of hey, 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 So Penguins camp is uh, is starting officially today. Tomorrow on the show, we're going to have more Post Malone tickets around 9 a.m. And, Bob, before we hand it over to the Ryan Seacrest Show, what would you like to name the podcast today? Hunky Hand Grenades in a Blanket. Okay. If you listen to the show today, that makes a lot of sense to you. We were sidetracked by Pigs in a Blanket talk on the show today. And by the way, the poll that I put up on Twitter, it's got over a 1,000 votes well over uh, during our show today. What do you associate Pigs in a Blanket with? Hot dog or, or sausage wrapped in dough or a crescent roll or pork or like wrapped in cabbage, right? Right, right. 72% of people are going with like hot dog wrapped in dough now, which is like shocking to a lot of, you know, Slovak and Hungarian people in Pittsburgh. But, you know, I mean, pigs in a blanket. We were confused because we'd never heard it referred to as hunky hand grenades. <laughs> yes. Hunky hand grenades, also a name for it. Uh, good name for the podcast, hunky hand grenades. In a blanket. If you missed any of the show, get caught up with our Mikey and Bob podcast on the free iHeartRadio app or wherever you're streaming and listening to your podcast. That's it for us. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, go Steelers! 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 All right, Ryan Seacrest shows up right now. Talk to you later. Bye. HD Pittsburgh. Let's go! Do you want to know what we walked into this morning? Do you want to know, Pittsburgh, what we walked into to start our day this morning? Uh, listen, 